Hello, good evening. Today I want to teach you how to send professional offer, how to send a professional offer on Fiverr. So here I say how to create a converting offer or proposal. You can call your offer a proposal. So we call you said there are two types of offer. I want to first let you know that there are two types of offer. Number one, we have the generalized offer. These are the types of offers or proposals you send to request. You send to a request in any niche. You can send to a request in any niche. Be it email marketing, Shopify design, app development, website design, ads marketing. These are the types of offers that you can send to any niche. You can just copy it and send it to any request. Send the request to a and you send it to just one offer. Now, for example, hello. Action is the fundamental key to all success. I've carefully gone through your request and can perfectly understand your requirements. I will deliver an excellent work for you on this project. Take the right action now by contacting me and you will get an exceptional delivery. Thanks, Max. So you can see it. This offer doesn't talk about any particular niche. So you can actually send this offer to any niche you want any niche any niche you are rendering if you are rendering app development website development uh, website design app marketing social media marketing you can send it to any of them because it doesn't specify it doesn't uh outline any keyword based on all these niches so it it, take, it talks generally about what we do and we, what we deliver excellently for that buyer so you can see we are listening this because it talks generally, generally no so wrong but so you can see it. So how do I form this uh, this kind of offer? Is that most times I use a uh, is either I use I, I create it from scratch using my brain or I use a uh, wise quotes. I will use wise quotes as well to create the offer. So I go to uh, Google, I search for wise quotes, business quotes to be precise. So when I search for business quotes, then I take a quote, then I blend it with uh with with five terms with offers with the offer you want to send. So let me show you how I create one now. For example, now so I go to Google, I search for business quotes. You can see it's business quotes. Then I go here looking for quotes, looking for quotes, looking for quotes. So now I take some quotes here, it doesn't align with what for example now you say if you would like you they listen to you, but if they trust they will do business with you. So I I don't think I can use this for an offer. So let me search for something that is related. So it's not every code that you can use. You must choose some codes that is aligned with what you are with what you are offering as uh, as well. So for example now. Look at this number 21 by Scott Belsky, co founder of Beyond. Now, he said it's not about ideas, it's about making ideas happen. Now, let's use this to create an offer now. Let's use this to create an offer. So, let's say hello. Do you know it's not? only about the idea it's really about making then you can say yes it's really about making the idea happen or let's say it's really about implementing the idea it is really about implementing the idea your project okay or your requirement is what I Um, execute, execute. 
videos similar projects in the past and I have over five years experience in this niche you can use message me inbox me something like that so let's contact me today or contact me now the guys max so you can see the offer that you have, that I've just written using the wise code. So one thing, one of the things you have to keep in mind when writing your offer, when creating your offer, is that you don't need to write long blocks of content. When the content is too much, the buyer might not read it. Nobody likes too much uh, contents. Nobody likes too much uh, long, long blocks of text. So just make it short, like three, four, five lines is enough. Maximum of five lines is enough. So when 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 you uh, write short content and you send it and you make the content you wrote engaging, captivating, then your buyer there is a probability that your buyers will message you. So this is how to write uh, a proposal. This is how to write a proposal. This is how to write a, a generalized proposal. So you can see it. So you can send this one to any niche. This website is an app developer, you can send it to any need. So the number two now is personalized offer. Personalized offer, these are the types of proposal you create for a specific request. These are the type of offers you create for a specific niche. And niche, yeah, a, request, a specific request and niche. It cannot be used for another niche outside the one you created for. E.g., you create it, you create it for someone who wants 5k traffic to his to his blog website but cannot be used for someone who wants a newsletter campaign let's say someone somebody wants traffic you cannot use that kind of content or that kind of uh, offer for somebody who wants newsletter it is actually different so because you have personalized the first offer you are not used for another offer again for another request again so now for example now but what, what this is actually saying is that the offer you you wrote you cannot that you wrote for a website design you cannot actually use it for template design you cannot use it for a uh, campaign you cannot use it for fixing box so because it is personalized for designing a website if you if you write an offer for a real estate website you cannot use it for a gaming website so it is different from each other because it is personalized now let me cite you an example now Say greetings, you finally come across the right data marketer for your blog website. So this one has talking has talked about marketing, it has talked about data marketing, I talk about websites. So I will promote your blog and so this one now cannot be used for some something like a mobile app because it has talked about website and that's all about marketer. So this one is you can see that it is personalized, it's not generalized like the previous one will. Uh, we learned so he said I will promote your blog and drive pirated traffic from a specific location. I have more than four years experience in traffic generation and positive feedback in work stuff. Because we now and let's get started. So you can see it. It talks about the experience. Uh you greet them. It talks about the experience, then what you can do, what we do, to emphasize of what we do. Then you give uh we talk about the past project you have that you have handled. Then you talk about uh, you talk, uh, then you talk about the positive feedbacks that you've gotten. Then you give it a conclusion. Now, let me create another one. Now you say hello. Thanks for checking 
out now let me show you an example here let's say we want to i've completed my offer for today but let me someone say we own an apparel company that is e-commerce shop yeah selling clothes is apparel we, we have some sources when we launch the site but now since i've disappeared looking for someone to evaluate our site and implement effective marketing strategy this will be a weekly rate 25 dollars for initial console so this person wants a marketing strategy somebody to implement marketing strategy to promote their e-commerce web store now let's say we want to write an offer we want to send offer to that person now we, we write let's say we want to send a personalized offer now let me cite an example now thanks for checking out my proposal now yeah thanks for checking out my proposal hello thanks for checking out my proposal uh you can you can say your name i am matt or let's see or you say i am oh sorry i am an experienced you can even use e-commerce marketer with over four years experience about my experience now I, i'm emphasizing on what i will do i will promote your e-commerce store to target to target audience and okay i promote to target audience and generate conversions using Using my effective marketing techniques, techniques. Contact me now for an amazing result. Thanks. So you can see it now. This one is also a personalized offer. You can see. It talks about marketing your experience what you have done then it emphasizes on what we do for that person so then you give it you give a closing remark as well so this is how to create a perfect offer a perfect proposal be it personalized or generalized offer now let me show you some of the offers so th th these are things you have to study when when sending offers these are things you need to study so this says offers so these are the uh, numbers of offers, number of people that have sent offers to this person now. In your mail alone to send offers, in. then oh your job of is really in seven days. Then the money that that person wants to pay is ten dollar. Wants to pay dollar ten dollars for this job, for his survey fee, ten responses for my survey. So he wants to do something like survey. So this person, I need one k subscribers on my YouTube channel. So he need one k subscribers. He wants the job done in three days. Seven people have sent offers already. Then he wants to pay ten dollars. So now something I want to tell there is something I want to tell our newbies as well. And we can see of new When when you are sending offers, you have to know, you have to study how big or let me say how complex the project that person wants to do is. For example, now somebody who wants this one K subscribers on the YouTube channel, put in ten dollar. You know if you collect this kind of project. You might if you know if you have the skills you might be able to do the project but it is like you are sabotaging yourself because ten dollars is too low for something like this for example now somebody wants to design a whole website let's say somebody who wants to design a, a membership website now and add forty dollar to it you can see forty dollar is too low for a membership website but if it's an agency website you can still design it like ninety dollar hundred dollar but it's, it's, it's still it's still low. But for somebody who wants like uh somebody let's say somebody wants 10k leads now, 
and he added five dollars to it so you can see that kind of uh budget is too low for the projects that person wants to do so in that kind of situation you need to add more funds you have to add more price to what to the actual price that person added to the request for you tell ABC, i need to let you add add the more for example now even you if ten dollars see as this person had ten dollar you can put fifty dollar you can put seventy dollar because if you have ten dollar now go to man share these are the situations to man share to help the 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 seller will now order uh, the buyer will now order you directly when he sees that your price your budget uh the, the price you put there is low or you price that this is the carry or now ask the order and you lock the share money loan so this is how is how you uh you have to be conscious of uh the job that that person wants to do for example now you by two person you send over see it's a translation of a certificate to two people you send over see we have people sometimes we have zero cents so then you have to be uh you have to know this zero cents when you are uh when you are monitoring your offer step and show fine make me show pay offer to pay zero cents Make sure you are monitoring it. If that offer enters a chat day, zero cent to what? Then it is sent there. When offer is still new, send it. Because some buyers may be online and may, well, and may want to order you directly. Then, when you send offer, zero cent. When, when the buyer posts the request on, on mobile, your, you will see your offer at the top. But if the buy, buyer is operating on, on desktop, on a PC, on a laptop, the buyer will see your uh, request. The buyer, uh, the, uh, when when you send first, the buyer will see your request at the bottom. He will see your proposal at the bottom. So, but but let's say you are the one who sent last. Maybe uh, you only sent like twenty five of us. Uh, now you are you are now the number twenty six who sent to that person. If the buyer is using desktop, if the buyer is using desktop, he will find you at the uh at the top because you are the one who sent last and is using desktop but if you are the one who sent last and that buyer is using mobile we find you at the at the bottom so it is better you you, you still uh monitor your offer and send it when it is still zero cent so zero cent is good now let me show you another way i i compose my offers now Another way I do use to compose my offer is you go to freelancer.com. I teach you how to use uh how to use Google, how to use a uh, wise course. Then you can equally search on Google like how to write a perfect proposal, how to write a converting proposal. So you get ideas from it. Step by step, you can see creating a winning proposal samples and things so you can just go there and find some steps so you can see up work samples how to write this how to write proposal let's guide you so you can look for it for uh guides over there and use it to create your own proposal so now you go to freelancer you sign up so once you sign up you do like you are a buyer you don't create uh you don't set up your profile you just set of uh some of the things that you know you, you want to do so once you set it up then you post a request you post a project just like it is on fiverr so once you post a project you will see some so on, on freelancer within two three minutes they will approve your request so once they approve it you see seller sending you request so you can copy this request and edit it and use it on fiverr as well so i do i do use that method as well and it works you can copy it edit it to your own you can equally get samples from it as well and use it to create your own proposal so that's how to create a proposal a perfect proposal a winning proposal and that's how you uh what you need to know about sending a proposal you need to be monitoring it when it's still zero cent and these days five hours need specific time take pay offer and jade when they don't have a specific time when offers do come out you have to be monitoring it so once you are monitoring it and you are sending your offers on time sending quality content in your proposal you'll be getting messages so that's how uh to write a proposal and to send a perfect proposal offer so thank you